What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. First and foremost, I just want to thank all of you so much for pushing this channel to nearly 900 subscribers. We're getting awfully close to that 900 mark, guys. About 20 more subs and I'm crossing the 900 barrier, so thank you guys so much. Without you, none of this would be possible and the subscriber count would never reach this number. So guys, cheers to you and thank you for clicking on the video today. Uh, I'm diving in to a Another hazy beer, guys. It's going to be from Austin uh, Austin Brothers Beer Company out of Alpena, Michigan. I've had quite a few of their beers over the years. Uh, one of my favorite breweries uh, since like 2018-ish, kind of up in that uh, uh, time frame. Uh, 2020, 2021, I've had a couple of their good beers. Uh, they're known for their Merck. They do a lot of that. This one happens to be Merck Love Not War attributed to uh, the war going on in Ukraine, guys. So this is kind of cool. Nice little uh, tribute here. And this was canned on 221.22, which is odd because um, if that makes sense, guys, this was canned before the war happened. So that's actually kind of perplexing to me, but maybe they had the beer ready. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but uh, that's an odd date for me to have this label. Uh, maybe they had the label that was added after. Let's put it that way. Maybe maybe they did something like that. Uh, so, guys, again, I really like this uh, brewery. I've had some awesome beers from them. I have not had this one. It's due to distribution. Um, I think this was like... What was it? I think this is like 369 a can, somewhere in that range. So let's check it out. 7% ABV, New England style IPA featuring Brew One Hops. Let's check it out, guys. Thank you for being here once again. Really appreciate it. Um, just chilling, uh, home after work. Got the two games on today. It's uh, April 2nd, time of recording. Got the final four we're going to be watching here, guys. So hopefully you're going to be watching that as well. Don't know when I'm going to drop this review. But uh, as we look at this, I, I don't have perfect lighting. I have just natural lighting from out here. Kind of that dark burned copper orange in the glass. Looks almost amberish. Nice, bright, uh, densely packed head. I mean, that is that is very, very densely packed. Um, sudsy, soapy, creamy. Stick into the glass beautifully. Got the Michigan glassware. Because Michigan's the best, guys. Michigan's the best state for beer. It's settled. It's settled. Don't, don't come at me. A um, little bit of carbonation. Gentle streaming to the top. And let's go to an aroma, guys. It's bright. It's citrusy. A little green forward. A little bit of floral. Soft malts. Smells clean. Smells very clean, actually. So um, I'm not going to ramble on here, guys. I'm just going to dive in. It's Merc Love, not War. Let's go. Kind of bitter on the back end. I don't want to say herbaceous is the right word, but it's got some of this herbal characteristic that's kind of like like green pine cone fruitiness. A lot of floral, a lot of dry floral, clean floral. Um, pineapple is is in this, but it's not as abundant as one might think for brew one hops. Usually it's going to be like very bright and pineapple forward. Uh, this one's a little bit softer, a little more uh, calm and subdued on the palate. Uh, the head's hanging on very nicely, guys. You can see it's sticking around. Looks pretty solid in the glass. A little sticky, foamy thing going on here. Um, it's smooth. It's quite smooth. It's got a little bit more malt driven into this than I would have thought. Uh, almost like almost like a bitter, like spicy rye is what it comes off as. It, it's got a little bit of like that black pepper, kind of white pepper corn flakes in there. Um, Again, paired with lots of floral. I'd say floral is the most abundant thing with um, some citrus forwardness. It's dry though, like it's very dry. Solid bitterness on the back end, slightly malty. Um, not as, maybe not as clean and refreshing as I thought it was gonna be, but still reminding me it's a, it's a solid IPA with some solid bitterness on the back end. Uh, not too much depth, it's a lot of genericness, and I can't really like point to one fruit or the other. I'm getting like grapefruit, um, maybe some navel orange, maybe a little bit of, of pineapple, but there's nothing that's like multi-layered, there's nothing that's multi-colored in the beer. It's very um, uh, simple from front to back, which sometimes people like that. I uh, don't know if that's the best beer I've had from Austin Brothers. I wouldn't say it is. 
I've had some other crazy beers that uh, stood out in the crowd that I kind of just, uh, maybe I just expected more out of this beer. Um, but this is one you can get in distribution, guys, so it's kind of a good shelfy beer you can find on, uh, you know, a good craft beer store or any solid um, store's shelf. Yeah. It just comes off a little boring to me. I don't think it's anything crazy. I, I do like it. Drinkability's there. Um, yeah, yeah, guys, it's it's solid. I like the message behind it. Good, good message. Um, I'm just going to go with a 3, 7, 9 out of 5. There's so many good hazy beers in the game, guys. It's so hard to rate these now. So back in the day, I'd probably rate it higher with everything there is now. 3, 7, 9 out of 5. It's been Merc Love, Not War from Austin Brothers, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm so grateful for you guys. I will catch you on the next review. Cheers.